What's going on guys? Good morning. Today we are shooting a wedding. So uh, I'm second shooting for a friend named Pete, so I won't be able to show too much with their clients and everything, but I'll talk between driving and stuff of how the day's going and I'll show you some b-rolls. So let's have a fun day. But to go shoot with the groom, so this can be fun. Hi, Jeremy. Is here for you? Do you want to send him up for you? Hello. How are you? I'm Jeremy. I'm Mila. Nice hey, to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. You guys have a mess. So oh, I nice. totally about it. <laughs> Definitely so, um, so today we're shooting in a hotel room and the best thing you want to do is clean up around the window and shoot with the natural light coming from the window. Now you can see I was getting the groom and the groomsmen getting ready right by the window so it could produce beautiful natural light instead of them having in the other corner that had light from the bathroom that was yellow and ugly. So that's a great tip. If you shoot closer, you will avoid the mess and you'll have beautiful light. Alright, so we have an hour to kill, so we're going to go to the ceremony location now, take some drone shots of the location, and just hang out. Alright, so today we're going to talk about a great topic that's going to be really beneficial to anybody that's just getting into wedding photography or wanting to or thought of, and that is how to become a second photographer for local photographers in your town to get amazing experience. The best thing when you're just starting out into wedding is to get experience and to learn about the flow of a wedding day and to be able to see another photographer that's been doing it for years is so impeccable it's so crucial to your growth as your own the best thing you want to do is not cold call photographers in your town a second photographer is really crucial to the main photographer there's a couple aspects that goes into a second photographer at least for my brand number one personality basically i want to a friend who's good at taking photos that I've meshed well with as a person because my clients are going to be like me. So if I have a second photographer that's like me, I'm going to be more prone to using them. Next part is actually if they're a good photographer or not. Now for me, it's not as important because the second photographer comes with me to both the grooms and the bride's location. For some other photographers, they will send only the second photographer by themselves to shoot the groomsmen getting ready before the ceremony. Now the best way to become a second photographer for weddings to make it a genuine approach. So I suggest following like a bunch of photographers in your town, start liking their photos, start commenting, ask them like, hey, on Instagram DM or an email, like, hey, I love what you're doing, like, you're amazing, like, I'm just starting out and I was wondering if I could buy you a coffee for a quick 10 minute meeting. And most of them will be too busy and don't take it personally. When you're in the meetings, ask them about how they started their story like ask them about why they love their job don't be like oh how do you market your weddings how do you get all your bookings like just make it about them and, and then once you get like two to five meetings and you meet a couple photographers and they say like oh i really like this guy like you know instead of it being a cold call email they actually got to meet you in person and your personality in my opinion is the resume how do you shoot wedding ceremonies in sunlight what are your three tips for that keep the sun behind the subject that you're photographing you never wanted to have them looking directly in the sunlight. Close my aperture. I would never shoot wide open in direct sunlight conditions like this. And then of course, edit everything in post. All right, so the ceremony is about to start. Gonna take some photos. DJ's getting ready. How's the ceremony, Pete? It was fantastical. It was bright. It was warm. <laughs> All right, so we just finished family photos. Pete the man. Actually, on Snapchat, your name and my phone is Pete the man. I did not know that. I don't know. I don't know if I did that on purpose. It's just been like that for for years. Yeah, to be a good secondary. See, I thought about that too. And I always realized that, you know, if you want to be a good secondary, you still have to shoot as if you're lead. So you have to get the details the same way you would as if you were a lead photographer. You have to get the reactions the same way you would as a lead photographer. Gear is also very important. Uh, I try to keep it as, at a minimum three lenses. It doesn't really boil down to just the technicals throughout the day. It's really more so the interpersonals because you are going to be talking to a lot of people, not just the parents, but obviously the wedding party and the guy side, the girl side, parents, obviously families. Be very, very polite, be very sociable. I'm just looking for someone who is really good at capturing those creative angles that I'm not able to take photographs from. So that kind of thing I'm looking for. And obviously it, it, it also comes down to how well you gel with that secondary photographer. Oh, I thought it was okay. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to our last location now. Now, if you don't know the full of a wedding, it goes ceremony, family portraits, and then typically we go do bridal portraits with uh, you know, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids, and then you just do creative photos of just the bride and groom. So 
We're just doing the creative photos now. It's in this really cool orchard that has yet an industrial feel, kind of like you're at a shipyard. And then your left is like an orchard. Well, since today's a party. She says you gotta hold on to what we got. It doesn't make a difference if we're making or not. We got each other, and that's a lot for love. Sing it, Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> the badass graffiti wedding photographer. I'm about to walk into. Uh, oh my goodness! Yeah. That's. So what's your goal with the photo right now? Uh, so we're gonna get the um, atmosphere aerosol going, so we get that mist in the can, like I talked about. All right, bear with me, guys. Just gonna fire off a couple test shots really quick to see how this is gonna turn out. So right now, Pete put a flash on a stand that's gonna be triggered when he takes a photo, and it's gonna be behind the subject, which is the bride and groom. It's gonna isolate them and show a really cool highlight. In addition, we have sprayed a lot of this mist that's gonna make it look foggy and daisy. In addition to the awesome sunset in the background, it's gonna be a really great photo and Pete killed it. Alright, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys, if you're into photography, just start thinking about second shooting. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so thanks for watching. We're gonna hang out with a special girl tonight. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. What should they do? <laughs> Subscribe and comment and like. Alright, have a good night, guys.